Hi, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and I'm just here to talk to you a little bit about how I started my own grooming business um, from scratch and uh, continue to do it today in my home 15 years later. Um, so um, to begin the story I guess it uh, was pretty simple. We just got a dog and um, I just started grooming him in my house. So just the basics right and I just used the bare minimum to groom him so he had some pretty good haircuts at the beginning there um, and I just continued to do them so it was probably a couple years in after I got we got our dog and uh, um, you know people just kept asking me where I got my dog groomed and I just told them I did it so I had a few people suggest that you know I could start grooming other people's dogs and so once that spark was lit um, I, I just couldn't stop thinking about doing it so um, to begin, I actually started getting better tools just to groom my own dog. And um, I, uh, I just started grooming him with the better tools that I could buy. So, you know, I, I bought a better set of clippers and better set of, set of scissors um, and just the basics. So um, just to have that on hand so that I could actually get better at a dog that I knew. And then if there was anybody else I knew in the neighborhood kind of thing that um, I could groom their dogs or family or friends. Basically, I just tried to get as much experience with other people's dogs as I could, um, just to make sure I liked it um, and to see if I was any good at it as well, right? Um, starting out on your own, you need to uh, get uh, some experience and uh, it's hard to do unless you can get the access to dogs. So once I figured out that I did enjoy it, um, then I started printing little papers um, and just put them in people's mailboxes. Just went door to door in my neighborhood and, um, and hoped that uh, they would come see me and try me out. And they did. Um, it was, you know, trickled in. And um, basically, I was working full time at the time. And I would groom um, almost a dog every other day in the evening um, as they came in. and. Uh, got experience that way you know again it's just and I, I learned as I went so um, I would google things as I could and um, so it is it is possible to do it without the hands-on but of course as I got more and more experience I got faster and faster and faster so it, it helps to get as much training as you can in um, because at the beginning um, income is it's trickling in right it's not steady um, you don't know who's coming when they're coming and um, and the income right you're working one dog um, to take three and a half to four hours to do at the beginning and uh, like from then to now so it's 15 years later um, now I can do a dog in 45 minutes so you definitely as you get faster you can do more dogs and make a better wage so that is definitely incentive to do more dogs faster, you know, to mean get more experience doing them. But you also have to worry about, you know, if you don't have those dogs coming in. Um, I was lucky enough that my partner was working full time and I had the support of him um, through all this to, to encourage me to do it. And um, I've been lucky ever since that I was able to do this and never looked back. I, I still love every moment. I still love grooming dogs. I love going to work every day and even though it's just down the hallway. So that, that is a, a great benefit that I enjoy. Um, you know, so once I knew I liked it, then we started getting more tools. So I got more equipment. I got, you know, extra sets of blades to ensure that I had enough um, for when I was getting dogs and the blades would get hot so I made sure I had extra sets I had to find somebody to sharpen the blades um, you know and maintain my equipment so those were other things I had to look for in my area of course you know all the processing of getting a business license to work out of the house and all those things came at the beginning as well once I knew okay this is something I want to do so let's make it uh, official and um, let's start charging some money right so you know that was nice so 
you know, there are some things that you have to check out in your own area to see what is allowed and what isn't allowed if, if the home business route is what you're looking to do. Um, you know, and of course, with all the supplies and such, um, maybe you want to go work for someone um, or a place that will employ you and give you a solid salary range till you get that experience to branch off if you so do choose. Um, so there's always different things, right? And then, of course, there's always the setup of um, business cards and advertising and, um, you know, the maintenance of your stuff and then just increasing your supplies and the, the quality and the quantity of those supplies. So, you know, you know, advertising in newspapers and um, Facebook back then was non-existent for advertising. So, um, you know, you can find new places to uh, get your advertising, get your name out there. I put business cards in uh, um, the vet offices and just word of mouth is a big thing. So, um, and another big thing that we did was uh, we went on Google and, uh, you know, they advertised for me to when people are searching for a dog groomer where I live. So, um, but also be aware once you post on Google your business, people can also review your business on there. So, um, making sure that you're ready to, you know, be reviewed. And uh, the most important thing is that when you are learning is to take the time with the dogs to learn the proper methods um, to groom them. So don't rush and groom them as you would your dog and treat them like that. And it should be fine. You know, if uh, your standard should be pretty high, hopefully, um, because you want those um, owners to be happy as well and to talk about you and to send their friends and to keep coming back, of course. Um, I do have, um, I don't know, just a love of everything and it's been so, so nice to be doing this and I'm so grateful and I hope to do it for many more years. Um, so if you are interested in starting your own business, um, it can be done, but it is a lot of hard work and um, there is another video that just talks about some things you may want to look out for, or be prepared for. Um, as well and then I'll be posting another video of just what supplies you would need to start up a business as well so um, you can look out for that as well so um, if you're interested I also post a lot of videos on just different types of dog grooming I don't edit my videos I do it as it comes in because things change as I'm grooming and um, that's what grooming is you never know what's coming so um, every day is different, but every day is a challenge at the same time. But like I said, once you get the experience, um, your skill level will increase that you can just go with the flow and figure it out. So, and that's basically what you're going to need to do anyways. So please subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to focus on in my videos. And I'd be happy to do that. I'm, I'm working still full time, uh, grooming pretty much every day or... You know when I'm you know not working so um, let me know what you'd like to see and I'd be happy to post something on that for you and uh, we can go from there so thanks for watching I hope this helped and uh, hope to see more dog groomers out there all right take care